what's going on guys um welcome to the next video on learning uh, bootstrap it's been a while uh, since i made the last one uh, the last bootstrap uh, video uh in this video we're gonna start building this um our website which is salon with uh, bootstrap 5 so in this uh, video we're gonna uh, dive deep and um, get our hands dirty with the uh, bootstrap so you guys go and uh, fire up your zone and keep in mind that uh, I'm going to show you in guys because I started a PHP um, uh, uh, series so with that one um, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do vamp, uh, mamp and lamp so that's uh, e that's equivalent to this uh, zomp but if you guys doing the uh, PHP in a long uh, term basis if you guys learn uh, like professionally uh, JavaScript or PHP you guys needs to explore this uh, ZAMP plus uh, WAMP, MAMP and LAMP you guys should know all this LAMP is for Linux uh, that's uh, exactly like this uh, WAMP is Windows Apache MySQL Perl uh, PHP and um, because this one's got a Perl as well it's, uh, this one's open source you guys can run it with um, Windows, uh, Mac OS and Linux no problem this is uh, on every platform and uh, WAMP is specifically for Windows as the W stands for WAMP MAMP uh, is for Mac uh, but you can also install it on Windows and uh, LAMP is for uh, Linux alright so in this video we're gonna um, make our um, same uh, type of um, menu uh, which we have done it before so in this video we're gonna start um, uh, doing that and for that one we guys need this um, uh, JavaScript because we have already um, included our um, uh, bootstrap in here and as I said that you guys can go in the bootstrap um, website and can download the CDN content delivery network and in that one you guys see that the first one if you uh, but provided you guys got an internet all the time in my case because I'm running a local host and I uh, don't like Windows connect to the internet because it slows down God knows uh, what sort of uh, functions Windows got uh, and gonna update all these unnecessary files all I'm concerned with um, um, my um, files here with sublime text and um, uh, with my zomp and with um, uh, chrome so i don't need to go on internet and uh, browse but if you guys uh, got a super fast internet and super fast computer uh, then you guys can go and uh, download this um, uh, cdn at the beginning of our uh, cdn stand for content delivery network but it's useful if you guys got a website but in my case because I have uh, downloaded this bootstrap the bundle from the website so I don't need that I'll, all I needed to bring this one uh, and my website and sorry in my um, sublime text and leave it there so and for um, if you guys script as I have we have gone through this um, script uh, JavaScript briefly in um, previous videos so for um, your websites to work for menus to go up and down for toggling and everything you guys need to uh, bring this um, bootstrap bundle so um, uh, we're looking for uh, minified this version of the bootstrap so we are interested in bootstrap bundle dot mean dot js so we are here at asset bootstrap js so I'll put it asset bootstrap js for javascript and bootstrap dot uh, bundle dot uh, so bootstrap bundle dot min js min js why i'm doing this uh, bringing javascript because if you guys looking for the menus to go up and down and for your um, uh, sliders and everything you guys need this uh, javascript uh, JavaScript file you guys need to connect to this uh, bootstrap dot bundle min js otherwise your uh, animation is not going to work all right so to begin with uh, bootstrap 5 is exactly same like uh, normal bootstrap but few differences uh, this one's got a container flute I'm going to show you guys what is container flute but we begin with the uh, nav so we put a nav and we put a nav class nav bar uh, navbar navbar expand navbar expand uh, navbar expand because we want to expand it and we want it large and uh, navbar light bg light and navbar 
light bg light bg light as we explained before in uh, previous videos you guys can do this uh, uh, dark light and uh, bg you guys can do navbar light navbar dark and you guys can do bg primary and bg inverse uh, bg default uh, because that's a color so as i have shown you guys i don't see the need to go back to the same because i just wanted to show you guys the bootstrap 5 how do we do the bootstrap 5 the navigation because we're building our uh, website all right so the next one is a class uh, we call it container flute container uh, the difference between the container is the container the normal container is coming from here to here but the container fluid is going from uh, left to right uh, grabbing all the areas all right so as uh, we said that uh, here we're going to our anchor text and we put a hash because we don't want to put it or if you guys can put your uh, brand and here we put a a clause uh, navbar brand navbar brand here all right and we put our uh, salon uh, salon style or salon hair or salon uh, corporations whatever you guys want to put it and we put a button and if you our button got a navbar toggler we put a clause navbar toggler toggler is um when it goes up and down when you guys changing the menu and we put a type um one sec type is equal to button you guys need to specify what type is it is it button okay so it looks like toggler navbar toggler should come here the button should come here and database toggle collapse data yes toggle i have not shown you guys i know from the previous video videos because i didn't have a javascript so it was uh, for you guys uh, i didn't want to confuse you guys in this video because you guys getting a little bit uh, familiar with the um, bootstrap so it's the right time for me to show you what is uh, this uh, toggle and how do we do this toggle so data bs toggle is equal to collapse and data bs target so we put a data bs target and you guys can put an id of navbar so, uh, supported content you guys can put anything navbar uh, supported and that's in a camel case all right so area controls area um, controls is equal to navbar supported content same thing all right so area expand area expand and we put it false we don't want to expand it false and area label toggle navigation area label you guys can put any label but toggle navigation because uh, this is standard uh, bootstrap 5 so i'm going to show you guys the way uh, uh, bootstrap works so all right so we put a span here a span is when you guys putting in one line something like uh, say if you guys putting your icon so you go put it in one line all right so we put a class span class navbar toggler icon navbar toggler icon all right so our span is done button is done 
Okay, so now after button, we go in here and create one div. And you guys, uh, when it's finished, you guys see this uh, awesome uh, navbar with only a few codes. So we put a class in our div, uh, collapse navbar collapse. Collapse navbar collapse. Because we are collapsing the menu and we put an ID, we put the same ID, navbar supported content. Nav bar supported nav bar supported content because the data target is here when we're targeting this one. All right, so in this one we are putting our uh, an order list and an or an order is going to start the uh, class. Keep in mind everything inside the Bootstrap is class. If you guys notice uh, through the class we are creating our nav bar and we're creating our menu. So we as usual we put a nav bar nav nav bar nav uh, m e auto m e auto and m b m b two and m b l g zero m b large zero that's the size of our uh, an order list and we coming that. Um, uh, anchor text and we're putting a href something with our uh, for our uh, menu and we put a nav link active we put a nav link it's uh, same as a previous video but with a few only few differences okay so i did not put my li i just put a ul i need to put my uh, li nav item so i'll copy that because I need to put my li first and leave this one in there. So my class, so li comes in as nav item, uh, nav toggler, nav item. So the ul1 comes in as a ul is a large um, menu we're creating here and with a small uh, menu because it does an order list as we have shown in the previous videos. Uh, the difference between order list and on order with the order list you guys see that the, every time you guys typing this li's list it comes in numbering the numbering comes in then that's annoying we don't want that that's what we are going for an order list because we are the one who gonna create this um, uh, list in our uh, an order list so the first one is um, navbar link and we put it active because uh, an active when the UI see there is a line underneath and that's what active is so we put an area area current is equal to page that's the difference we didn't have that um, uh, in the last one and we have our uh, uh, home we have our uh, href and that's home and we're coming down to put our um, another uh, list here. So that's the first list. The second list here, we are putting the same thing, navbar item. And we put a nav, nav link with the exception of this active. Because if we only can have a one active in our, uh, uh, in our uh, UL. So here you guys can put a different menu, shop, maybe product. You guys can uh, put your product or uh, whatever uh, you guys have. You guys can put uh, another one as well. Okay, so put a register. Shop, maybe. So you guys can put shop. So you guys can put a... Login, login, and you guys can put a register. Okay, as we're heading down, we have created uh, one, two, three, four, five list in our uh, unordered list. 
all right so we're coming down and we're creating the if you guys i'm going to show you guys how to do your drop down uh we are coming here and we are creating the same uh, li navbar item okay so this supposed to be nav item nav item navbar okay so because the top one is nav bar this is nav item okay that's what nav bar nav all right so the nav item and how we're going to create our uh, drop down so you guys got uh, say you want to create about the user what the user is gonna be say um, gonna have a long list of the product or anything all right so we put a um, uh nav bar item drop down and we're going to instruct that this is a drop down drop down okay so nav item drop down okay nav link uh, then we're going to anchor text is going to come nav link uh drop down toggle drop down toggle and href we don't put anything at the moment okay so the id we're going to give id uh the id is navbar drop down navbar drop down and we put the role of button area area current is page okay so area current we don't want that we kind of put a role so i'm gonna put it here role is equal to button because we want a button and data bs toggle drop down data bs toggle is equal to drop down it this uh, instruct that the bootstrap that this is a drop down and uh, the menu should open and so area expanded area x and expanded expanded is equal to false we put a your orders our your uh, my salon my salon if you guys want a user to browse uh, different uh, stuff all right so we're coming down we put this page or because we only assign this area current page we don't need this we only need it with um, with the um, home okay because we only need navbar link with this one all right so this is a uh, nav link navbar link nav link okay navbar link that's nav link as well because navbar comes in with the ul nav bar with this one this calling it's nav link all right so we have created this so now we that we have created our button is we're going for uh, uh, drop down so my salon drop down so you guys see what drop down is drop down and inside here inside the a uh we're creating after a we're creating another ul an order list to drop down menu and we put a class uh the class gonna be a uh, drop down menu drop down toggle drop down menu okay so area labeled by area label it by it's coming like that in one word okay navbar drop down navbar navbar drop down and now we're going to create our uh, list 
how many lists you guys want. My salon drop down gonna have uh, so we can create like um, five or six list, uh, and all of them is gonna drop down class uh, drop down item drop down item and href. Okay, so li. We have to create this anchor text here inside here and inside the anchor text is going to be drop down item okay so um, that's the first one uh, we're going to repeat that a few times to create our menu list so my salon drop down say your orders Say your order history, transaction history, about us, who we are or uh, call us, for example. Uh, that's the general things that you guys see in everyday websites, uh, is engaging the users. We are going to create a few other uh, lists as well, a few others. And here we are creating our uh, uh, list li of divider. So we are putting hr, which is for straight line. So inside this hr, uh, we put a class drop down divider, drop down divider, divider. All right, so here you guys can create the um, call us your order history about us, call us. Um, uh, what's new other okay so now it's a uh, drop down is complete and here we are creating our um, after the ul our um, form which is the search form as uh, we explained before and put a class uh, we put a deflex and put input class input type uh, so the type is search and we put a name search as we explained that you guys need to put a name for the purpose of php because uh, you guys need to target this and the class be going to be form control me2 form control me as uh, you guys uh, need to remember every time you guys uh, in a bootstrap uh, if you guys want to go with this uh, creating your uh, input you guys need to put this form control because bootstrap gets the message straight away that you guys intending to create your um, uh, form here and you guys put a placeholder placeholder what are you looking four and we put a three dot to make it look uh, nice and area level is search area label is equal to search that's our search and now we're putting our uh, button button and inside the button we're putting uh, search I'm gonna show you guys how you guys gonna put a magnifier inside here so button class uh, as a pre class btn btn uh, outline success outline success and the type is submit submit all right this uh, type and names are the purposes of the php because PHP needs to know that if it's the type submit and you guys can create with your PHP as well because every time you guys need to do your form you guys can create with your PHP and I have already started the PHP series so you guys can watch that on uh, PHP alright so it looks like our um, 
uh, menu is done so we go ahead and uh, check our menu uh, I'm gonna um, save all and I'm gonna create one sec so all right guys uh, you guys see that uh, our uh, website which is um, a cool looking website is exactly like that before but uh, this is a little bit different you guys can do this in verse you guys can do primary you guys can give a color uh, this is uh, I was talking about if you guys want this say you guys uh, put your order history about us and call us there is a divider here what's new uh, other items so this divider comes in because I didn't show you guys in the previous one because I didn't have a JavaScript so this is this is this area uh, so this is a nav item drop down uh, this area comes in with um, with the help of the JavaScript so we guys we put our uh, bootstrap JS bootstrap bundle min JS so this is happening this area happening because opening is because of the JavaScript so that's our home product shop login register which is this one and this area uh, which is opening that small see the small carriage sign and opening and see this nice looking uh, website and that's our search and when I move here uh, search is this because of uh, this one here it's a form control search area label search that's what is is coming for me2 that's the type of the search all right so we submit uh, and this is outline success that's why the outline success when uh, the success one is uh, like this I'm gonna try primary if the primary works or default outline primary the primary works so you guys see if you guys want to see success or primary or default or inverse you guys can do this all right so now with our uh, thing is done so I'll show you guys here uh, you guys see this is adjusting itself and you guys see this is uh, opening with the uh, nice looking uh, uh, our nice looking uh, menu is opening here so this is a bootstrap this is called responsive website so if you guys even if you guys do it here now quickly change this the button is here this button with the three icons is this button this is the button so this navbar toggler type button data toggle collapse because it's collapsing it's collapsing and you guys see this is got collapse it's toggling and this is toggling as well it's also collapse this is called is toggle it, this one toggles it's moves uh, moving the the web page so so this is the data uh, bs target and because we're targeting here we are connecting this one to this div with this menu so in effect we are uh, data BS target because we are putting the target here. We are putting something and putting, uh, getting targeting this ID here. So the ID of this is which is the menu UL. So this is a UL coming and this is a list. This entire here is a UL and there's a list here. So every time we put this one because it's targeting this um, UL, that's why it's coming. So here as well because it targets again. That's the target. That's one opens. So you guys looking that it's coming in order. It doesn't matter what area of I'm putting in my um, uh, my website. Say if you put it, it the people who's got a mobile and while browsing your website is gonna look like this. That's what how that's how they're gonna look. So that's how the people's gonna look at your website, and that's how they uh, gonna look. The reason I didn't show you guys before is because I didn't know you guys uh, know much about the JavaScript. This everything is happening with the help of this uh, JavaScript. But if you guys remove this JavaScript from here, from the bottom of the screen, it's this is not gonna work. So. So what I'll do is that I'll, I'll demonstrate that I'll remove this JavaScript and you guys look it's not working see I'm uh, doing this this is not opening so this is JavaScript 
the bootstrap needs javascript to open and uh, animate this um, your website so this one thing so in this uh, video we learn how to create our uh, uh, class nav item drop down uh, so uh, ul drop down menu okay so where is role is equal to button so nav bar is here that's a problem looks like a uh, nav link okay that's why it's giving me a problem and it's complaining that's what is see now it's uh, because of uh, here uh, nav bar because i explained to you guys before nav bar only comes with the ul so nav bar nav so this is a nav bar comes everything else is nav link nav sorry nav item so this is nav item because i put a small mistake here nav uh, bar link that's what is not coming so bootstrap takes this classes very seriously so any any small mistakes can ruin your website you guys i'm just gonna show you guys again this is a nice looking website with the help of javascript so you guys uh, can play play around with this one you guys can open your uh, uh, your uh, menu you guys can uh, put your brand uh, i have shown you guys how to put your brand all right so in this last one as i have mentioned before you guys can put this uh, navbar dark and you guys can put this uh, bg dark bg primary bg default anything you guys like bg say primary our uh, bg default and you guys see that our uh, thing is changed because this is also primary that's how my search is looking like this but i i like the uh, the default one which is the light because once we create our menu or anything so uh, this is a bootstrap 5 with the help of uh, uh, javascript I'm going to show one by one what is this all means. Uh, so here with the grid and we go one by one, we're going to create our uh, website slow bit by bit. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you guys utilities, RTL, left, uh, right to left. So when you guys put in your Arabic or Urdu or any other language that starts from right, this is the bootstrap it's got a, uh, for uh, right to left items. So if you guys say you want to, display other languages then uh, english english is from left to right say urdu and other persian or arabic they are um, from right to left so this is the guys here the guys here responsible for that putting inside your website inside here with the help of javascript and it's going to look awesome uh, website so i like the website uh, to look like this and we have finished our uh, website with the toggle with the help of uh, javascript uh, you guys can put your uh, CDN as well. So, like this, nice looking website. In the next video, we're gonna build, start building this again. So we're gonna put the nice uh, something here, and then we're gonna we're gonna go down and putting our footers. And I'm gonna show you guys bit by bit. And with the help of this uh, website, we're gonna can uh, we're gonna create the admin side as well because this is front end, and we're gonna create the back end as well. Alright, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.